Hey, watch this. Chop chop everybody. Today, I will be quickly reviewing for you the Gramforce Brook Wildlife Hatchet. Instead of boring you with specifications on this hatchet, I will make a bow with it. And therefore, you'll be able to determine if this is a worthy tool to add to your collection. But first, just appreciate how this hatchet is chopping the log. I mean, it's throwing wood like there's no tomorrow. It just, it really wants to cut through the log. This is where the fun begins. Two weeks ago, I cut down this live ironwood tree. Yes, it was a living tree. Feel free to cancel me in the comment section. I used some wedges and a splitting maul to process the wood down further, so carving the bow would be easier. This Grand Forest Brook hatchet feels amazing when it comes to carving. Right here you can see how it just removes wood, and for its weight, it just, it felt so right, and the edge was super sharp. Now, I will be skipping over essentially everything on how to make a bow, but if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, because in the future I will post in-depth videos on how to make your own bow. Because this bow was a tree two weeks ago, the wood still had a very high moisture content. This means it was easier to carve because when wood dries, it gets tougher and more brittle. So, because it was nice and wet, a couple days of carving, drum roll please, boom, the finished bow. It's nice and windy, enjoy the shooting. This is the bow I was making with the Grand Forest Brook Wildlife Hatchet. Enjoy. It works. All right, all right. Let's get back to the hatchet. Now here is some one hand chopping and wow. It just, it works. I think this is a great hatchet. And here is me getting a little too excited with it. I, uh, I get a little carried away, but I, I feel like this demonstrates how capable this hatchet is. Until next time, get outdoors. Be my guest and subscribe.